Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I'm going to discuss how to access the variables that are defined in the helper feature file from the calling feature file. So this is the feature file which we created and this is the helper feature file for creating the job entry in the test application. In the request body, we have hard coded the job ID. In the actual scenario, this will not be the right approach. So let me uncomment this two line and then I will use this variable as an embedded expression for the job ID. So every time we will get a random job ID. In order to send the put request, we need to have the same job ID. That means in the calling feature, we should have access to this variable so that we can get the job ID against which we should send the put request. So there will be a slight change in the way we are calling the helper feature file. Let me show you this with an example. So let me create the duplicate copy of this scenario and also update the title. When we are calling the helper feature file, we need to store the context of the helper feature file and then use that context to access the variable that are defined in the helper feature file. And that is very easy to do. So instead of using the Gherkin keyword, I will define a variable that will store the context of this helper feature file. So def variable name and then store the context. So when the Karate framework invoke this feature file after the invocation is done, it is going to store the context inside this variable. And using this variable, I can access all the variables that are defined in this feature file. So let me print the value of those variables. In order to access the variables, you can use the dot operator. So the context dot variable name. And the second one is the JavaScript function. So I need to use the brackets with that. And let me go ahead and run the runner. So let us look at the console. So as you can see here, I am able to access the variables that are defined in the helper feature file by using the shared context. Now let us use the variables in our put request. Instead of using the hard coded value, I can replace it with embedded expression using this variable. And this can be replaced by the variable itself. Let me run this scenario. Okay, our scenario is failing. And it is complaining about the type. Okay, I think I used the embedded expression in the wrong way. So this is the right way. And let me run the runner. So all the scenario are passing. So in this manner, by storing the shared context, you can access the variable that are defined in the helper feature file. You can also expose some other variables such as def. like this. Now this variable will be accessed inside the calling feature file. 